Hello guys welcome to the channel. Today I came up with a video of how to work at an NGO. This video includes Who is eligible? How to apply? Total money. But before continue to the video. Please like share and subscribe to the channel so that will never skip any video. So let's start. Non-governmental organizations or NGOs are independent groups focused on humanitarian and activist causes around the world. Though typically held up by donations and volunteers, most NGOs offer internships, part-time jobs and full-time jobs as well. These positions provide a great career alternative for those who want to make a living while improving the world. Though NGOs are just as competitive as regular industries, understanding where you want to work, what they're looking for, and how to apply will increase your chances of landing a dream position. Finding the right NGO Think about what you want to do. Take some time to think about what exactly you want out of a job. Look for an NGO that matches your goals. Seek out an NGO that is concerned with the same issues you are. If you want to travel to foreign countries, look for groups like World Vision or Care International. Find out what they look for in job applicants. Different NGOs have different needs based on their specific mission. Look closely at what your NGO requires and work toward meeting and exceeding their expectations. Method 2. Volunteer at local charities. Since NGOs specialize in activism and aid, charity work is extremely important. Take time to volunteer at your local food bank, homeless shelter and similar organizations taking on leadership roles if at all possible. If given the choice, NGOs will hire those with significant volunteer experience over those with little or none. Learn a second language Though not essential for all NGOs, learning a second language will be a great asset for groups specializing in international travel and aid. Popular languages like Spanish, French and Chinese are always good though you may get further with small languages isolated to specific areas of interest like Hindi, Bengali, Telugu, English for India and Persian, Farsi, Arabic, or Kurdish for the Middle East. Method 3. Applying for the job. Look for job openings or internships. As with all professions, NGOs have sporadic job openings, so keep an eye out for what they have listed and when more become available. If no positions are listed, contact the organization's public relations team to see if you can leave your resume. Write a specialized cover letter. Just like applying for regular jobs, prepare a short, clear cover letter to send with your resume. In addition to work experience and qualifications, Include two to three sentences about what you can bring to the organization's mission and why you care about this type of work. Apply for the position. Double check your resume, cover letter and any additional texts you are required to submit. Then, take a deep breath and send in your application. If you are lucky, they may request an interview or skill test to see if you are right for the organization. If not, it simply means your dream job is located somewhere else, so keep applying. Method 4 Keeping Your Position Be aware of world news and politics. Activism and humanitarian work often change what they do or how they do it in response to major events and political shifts. Make sure to read the news from a variety of sources, especially those located in countries you work with, and stay up to date with laws, polls, and movements related to your cause. The biggest challenge for any non-profit is funding, just because everyone has limited time and limited funding to dedicate. 
However, you can overcome those challenges by tapping into the community around your cause. Thank you for watching this video. And for more videos please like share and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to comment your views.